If you're designing a product or a process, or you're creating new content and thinking to yourself, I'll make it accessible later, you might want to think again. This approach creates accessibility debt, and it can lead to problems down the road. Think potentially losing business, damaging your brand, or even lawsuits when members of your audience or team are excluded. Instead, focus on inclusion from the start, and it's a win for everyone. Many companies are choosing to fix products and items in a piecemeal manner or based on individual requests for accommodations. It will be easier and more cost effective when you include accessibility in your plans from the beginning. Imagine you're creating a series of training videos for new employees. You don't see a need to caption them since no one has requested captions. Later, you have a new employee with hearing loss or ADHD who requests captions. You'll need to quickly caption the content without delay to provide equity. Urgent needs can be costly or result in mistakes when moving too quickly, and you'll find yourself in accessibility debt. Many people won't opt to raise their hand to tell you they need accommodations. They may suffer in silence, or they may not be able to comprehend your content. Instead, you should proactively look to adjust, applying universal design for learning, designed to include and engage more effectively. To avoid accessibility debt, start by asking yourself, do the colors on my website have enough contrast? Are my videos captioned and audio described for accessibility? Is my site compatible with screen readers? Avoid falling into debt by proactively making your events, videos, materials, and websites inclusive from the start. Designing inclusively won't just help select individuals. You'll reach larger audiences, build an inclusive community and brand, and you'll be more likely to retain employees and customers.